So, handhelds. Everyone knows them, everyone has seen them before. You've probably had a handheld before when it comes to gaming. And well, they are probably the most common thing that you're going to see on the market for the next couple of years because let's be honest, there are too many on the market. Now, for most of that don't know, Nintendo was the most iconic company out there that released a handout with the likes of the Game Boy and so much more, especially with the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch Lite. And of course, they are busy working with their own newer version of the Switch, which is either going to be titled the Switch 2 or Switch Pro, whether it's going called, it's going to be a big thing. But there are so many handouts on the market. Now, Steam was the first to come out to bring out their own handout that was a uh, Steam. I mean, they mostly played Steam games as it's in the name, and it was a good system. Then, Asus RG released the RG Ally, which is actually really impressive. I mean, I do want to get my hands on one very soon to not only review for the channel, but also to have as a personal handheld gaming system, because that can also be turned into a PC on the side and can connect to a display, which is actually really nice. But that was like the first handout on the market that can run not just Steam games, but also other markets or other storefronts. And it also had access to the Xbox Game Pass, which was a big perk for that handheld. But after that, we had the announcement of Logitech's handheld, which mostly was cloud gaming. Then you had MSI's Claw handheld, which I did a video on as a short, and that is also another thing on the market. There's even Lenovo with their own handout, and so much more. There's even a handout coming from, I think it's Playtech or Playtonic, which basically is a crypto bro type of handout, which I don't understand that, honestly. I just see all these articles, I'm getting lost off these handouts. But I'm just gonna say this, there are way too many handouts on the market. I think we get it, handouts are a big thing. I know PlayStation is working on a new PS, well, PSP in general, and there's also talks of Xbox making, making their own handout system, which might be actually really interesting. But I mean, they really have handheld cloud gaming with their Game Pass, which is a nice thing to really have. But let me know what's your thoughts on this whole situation because handouts, they are fun, they are nice to have. And I guess it is making more sense to have handout systems on the market because, well, mobile gaming is becoming a big thing, especially if you're traveling a lot around the world, for example, and you just want to have a nice gaming station. But let me know in the comments below, do you think handouts are going a bit too much right now because there are way too many on the market? And I mean, if you do want to get a handout, there are so many options to go for, which is going to make it very hard to decide which one you want to go for. But otherwise, let me know. But otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next video. Be safe as always. And I'll see you guys next one. Bye.